question, what does it mean for an unbeliever to repent? To be truly sorry for their sin? To change their mind? To turn from their sin? For the correct answer to this question, we must once again turn to the New Testament language of Greek for our definition. The word repentance is metanoia in the Greek. It is where we get the word metamorphosis. Meta, meaning to change, and noia, meaning the mind, such as paranoia. Its basic meaning is meta, change, and noia, the mind, to change one's mind. The reversal of another's decision, compunction, for guilt, including reformation, change of mind. The definition of the word repent in the Greek is metanoio, to think differently or afterwards. Example, reconsider, morally to feel compunction. Though it is good and right to be sorry for our sin, it is not the main thrust of these Greek words. Though they contain the thought of compunction, feeling of shame or regret, it is these godly feelings of sadness about one's sins that produces genuine repentance, the change of mind. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation. It is God's tug on man's heart that actually produces godly conviction leading to repentance. Some have mistaken this conviction for conversion and as a result have stopped short of true repentance and the end result was counterfeit salvation. It is imperative that the unbeliever repents in order to receive salvation. The unsaved person has no ability or power to turn from his or her sin. He can, however, change his mind, repent about what sin has done to him, what salvation is, and his need for it. Man's natural mind is against God. God shows his goodness to man, producing godly sorrow by dealing with man's conscience. The goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Repentance is changing one's mind from falsehood, wrong concepts, and spiritual deception to understand and acknowledge the truth of the gospel. Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Repentance will produce a change of direction and attitude regarding sin, truth, and salvation. True repentance in the strictest sense is the changing of one's mind, leading to salvation. It is the Holy Spirit after salvation that comes to dwell and empower the now believer, giving him the strength and ability to turn from sin. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. In the Old Testament, there are two Hebrew words translated repent. One is shub, to turn back, hence away, to turn away, and nakam, to sigh, breathe strongly, by implication, to be sorry. It is obvious these two words must be where some confusion has come into the church regarding the meaning of repentance, to be sorry for sin or to turn away from sin. These are Hebrew Old Testament words used under the law, not under grace. New Testament repentance is simply the act of man changing his mind. Of course, a byproduct of this repentance, only after salvation, is the turning from sin by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul said repentance will cause a turning to God and doing of works appropriate for the one who truly has repented, much like the way works demonstrate faith. Repent and turn to God and do works meet, deserving for repentance. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, evidence, worthy of repentance. A truly changed mind will produce a truly changed life. True repentance and faith happen simultaneously at salvation. One without the other is impossible. The Lord is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God has great patience, but they will run out. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. God can, will, and has sent delusion to man, not allowing him to repent. They receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, 
that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. God sends delusion into the hearts of those who will not receive the truth, because they choose the pleasure of sin over God's great love and offer of eternal life. God's word commands repentance of the sinner in order to come to salvation. Jesus said, Repent ye and believe the gospel. The key to right living comes by repentance, which is right thinking. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When man repents, he actually for the first time is thinking right and must understand and accept that up to this point he has been thinking wrong. Wrong thinking about the truth of creation versus the lies of evolution, the inerrancy of God's word, the deity of Christ, the difference between blind faith and biblical faith, the purpose of the law, the true meaning of grace, and that works are for the believer, not the unbeliever, and the knowledge that only the blood of Jesus can take away sin. Wrong thinking about these topics must be repented of. If not, it could cost you your eternity. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has now commanded all men everywhere to repent.